we are to find the standard deviation, S, of sample data summarized in the frequency distribution table below by using the formula below, where X represents the class midpoint, F represents the class frequency, and N represents the total number of sample values. Also, compare the computed standard deviation to the standard deviation obtained from the original list of data values, 11.1. So we are to use this formula to find the standard deviation, but the convenient thing is that with StatCrunch, it isn't necessary. We can begin by clicking the rectangle, open in StatCrunch, and then this data table will load. We have our bins here, or in other words, the classes, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, and on down, and then the frequencies, 2, 4, 6, 1, and on down. So what we want to do is find the standard deviation. So we'll click Stat, Summary Statistics, Grouped Binned Data, Bins In, so that means the classes, those are in the interval column, the counts are in the frequency column. All of these items that are listed here in this box that are selected into this box will be computed the standard deviation is listed, so we'll click Compute. We find the standard deviation here to be 14.724533, and we're supposed to round to one decimal place, so 14.7. Check our answer. Consider a difference of 20% between two values of a standard deviation to be significant. How does this computed value compare with the given standard deviation 11.1? So in other words, the standard deviation of the actual data that were used to construct this grouped frequency distribution had a standard deviation of 11.1. After the construction of the grouped frequency distribution, our estimated standard deviation using the midpoints was 14.7. So the question is, is this standard deviation that was estimated, 14.7, more than 20% greater than the actual standard deviation of 11.1? .1? So we'll subtract these two values and then divide by 11.1. So 14.7 minus 11.1 will give us 3.6. Then we'll divide that by 11.1, and that gives us 0.32. So in other words, 32%. So reading these choices, the computed value is not significantly different from the given value. Well, 32% is greater than 20%, so it is significantly different. Part B says the computed value is significantly less. Well, it's greater, actually. The C choice says the computed value is significantly greater. So we'll click that. 